Um, Alex, did you want to talk about how you were brought into the Molder Meets the Eye fold and, and you know, what, what, was, what was used to entice you? I, I don't think that conversation <laughs> is uh, appropriate for this venue. <laughs> Oh, um, uh, I was, what was I working on? I just finished up uh, the Drift miniseries, and then uh, I was quickly shoved to the side with no work for a while. And then Andy Schmidt came or emailed me. And he's like, "How would you like drawing like a couple issues of like the ongoing uh, takeover for Dawn because he was leaving, and that would have been issue." Um, 17 and 18. And then after that, uh, he's like, okay, you're going to have to do issue 16 too. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. And then he's like, uh, how would you like to do two issues with James Roberts? And I was like, ooh, the, this guy who wrote records? I was like, yeah, I was all excited. And I didn't know what I was getting in for. Um, <laughs> I, I got this amazing script for issue 22 here, which had a three page paragraph description of the first panel of that page. <laughs> he even reminded me like that the uh, the writing on the window would be reversed here because you were looking at it from the inside and from the outside you want the letters to be visible so make yeah. sure that the yeah. letters are yeah. reversed. So I've, I've learned to loosen up since then. <laughs> I can't remember if you had a description of what the the drink was going to be that they were drinking but it might have been in there. But uh, after that um, I finished those two issues. Uh, Andy Schmidt was telling me like um, that there would be some something bigger coming up. Um, it wasn't until after John Barber came on that he was like, "How would you like to do this uh, cover for the new series coming out?" And I was like, "Okay, that's really cool." Um, but they had already announced that uh, Andrew Griffith was doing Robots in Disguise, or was now Transformers, mm -hmm. and that Nick was going to be doing uh, More Meets Yeah. And I was like, "Oh." What was this big project that they were, uh, that Andy Schmidt was uh, tempting me with? I was like, oh, uh, they, they got somebody better to do it, so no big deal. And then uh, John was telling me that, uh, he's like, how would you like to do uh, a couple issues of uh, More Than Meets the Eye? And I was like, that sounds pretty good here. And so I got to start on issue two. Um, and after I was working on that, I was like, you know, I, I wouldn't mind doing more of this book. And John's like, you want, you want to do the whole book? And I was like, yeah. Because <laughs> I was like thinking in my head, I can eat and pay bills. <laughs> and so your motivation then, was survival, really. It was. Yeah. It was. Um, <laughs> went from starving artist to um, person that's now picking out the gray hairs from my beard because <laughs> of every script that you give me. <laughs> 